Thank you this morning. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Hallelujah. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can. Jehovah, oh yeah, oh. only you can fix. Hallelujah. What no man can fix, Jehovah. Only you can touch. Jesus. What no man can touch, Jehovah. Only you can touch. Hallelujah. What no man can touch, Jehovah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you are God in all. Even in the grave, you are Jesus. Lord, we thank you for today's healing hour. We thank you for the first day of independent praise. Thank you for the second day. We are thanking you in advance for what we do in the third day. We thank you for our month, this great month of celebration. We exalt your name because there is no one to be compared to you. Thank you for supremacy. We thank you for your awesome power. We thank you because you are God that reigns in all things and you do all. Thank you because you are going to teach us and to train us how to get the secret and to deal with secret. Then we come out victoriously. Lord, let your name be glorified. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to say good morning to everyone. You may be seated in the Holy Ghost. I pray that God Almighty will bless you in the name of Jesus. Can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can your hallelujah be louder? Hallelujah. By the grace of God, is a time to go into deep secret. Last week, we are in the deep secret, and today, we are going into the part two of that. I pray today, in the name of Jesus, that God Almighty will reveal that secret you need to know to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can your amen be louder? Amen. By the grace of God, Isaiah chapter 33 verse 3, I will quickly go into that word. There are a lot of things happening in the lives of people. That they don't really understand the cause for that. But today, the Lord is saying, we should call upon him and he will answer us. And to the glory of God is the one that will do the perfect will in our life. Can I hear you shout out him? Eh? Amen. To the glory of God, the deep secret, this is the part two. And God in his mercies is going to reveal deep secret to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. We are going to be reading these scriptures together. And something great will happen to us in Jesus' name. Can we read it together? Take your Bible and read it very loud and clear. One to go. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. And she do great and mighty things. Which thou knowest not. Hear this. For us to understand. What is wrong in the people's life and for things that we solve that thing, we need secret. If Esau had known 
that the secret to his life will be his mother. He will have prayed either his mother out or to also reach out to the mother. Say, Mama, what have I done unto you? The father sent Esau out and the mother called upon Jacob. I have discovered that your father is sending out your elder brother. Go and do all that one that you need to do. And the younger brother received the blessing of the elder brother. I pray today. Anyone under the oath of glory money or glory manipulator, I declare in the name of Jesus, let God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can your hair may be louder? Amen. I declare today, as you call upon God today, He will reveal the thing that you don't know to you. Amen. Hear this, beloved. Anything you don't know, senior you, do you believe that? Yes, Any secret you don't know about yourself. Is greater than you until when you get to know it. There are a lot of things, ongoing things going on in the lives of people around you that you don't all do understand. But here it is. There are a lot of things going on in your life that you don't even know what to do about it. People watching online, I want you to listen attentively. Because God is going to reveal some things to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 37 verse 35 says, Isaiah 37 verse 35 say, I will define this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. There is something that God must look into before he can settle a lot of things in the lives of people. So that thing that God is looking up to in order to settle a lot in your life, God will reveal it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can that amen be a shouting amen? amen. Now hear this. When David requests that who was the next person that remained or the only person that remained in the house of Saul. There was a man that remained in that place called Mephibosheth. I hear this. Mephibosheth happened to be a voice against uh, the, the Siba remained to announce Mephibosheth. But Siba said, that boy was a lame guy. Because the king would be saying, how could a lame stand in the palace and eat with me? But here it is, the king said, either he's a lame boy or he's a able person. What I want to do is to bless. You may not understand the covenant I have with his father, but I know it. You may not understand how I, the father has helped me, but I know it. So I pray today, any secret organizing panel that stand against you saying that you will not get to the place of achievement, I pray in the name of Jesus, let God expose them and disgrace them in the name of Jesus Christ. For Hannah to get the child that she was looking for, she must do something that other people have not been able to do. Now hear this. She left the husband. She left the food. They left her people. And she privately in a secret mode. And go into the temple. Start praying. By the time they started praying. God opened the ears and the eyes of the prophet to see. And said to her. Oh madam. Why are you behaving as a drunkard? The woman said sir. I am not a drunk, but I'm just pouring my heart unto God. She entered into a secret place, and God attended to her privately. Something happened in the life of Sarah. The husband had to entertain angels unknown to the husband. Okay, the husband got to know. But hear this. Something happened. The angel, after they have ate and they are belly full, they said, where is your wife? And get this right. And he said, my wife is somewhere in the tent. And when they said the wife is going to conceive, the woman laughed. They asked her, you laugh. She lied and said, I didn't laugh, my Lord. But they said, either you laugh or you don't laugh. What we are here for is for you to receive the benefit that we have come to deposit in you. 
I pray for that person here. That secret day that you need to know that the heaven will come into your life to give you the answer of peace. I declare today, God will make that day to come in the name of Jesus Christ. That secret was saying, you will not be free until you are finished. I command that secret word to expire in the name of Jesus Christ. War of missing opportunity. There are lots of people they have been fighting war. Anytime any good things want to happen, somebody will come in between them and they will miss that opportunity. Number two, the war of losing your job regularly. There is a war behind it. Somebody hearing me? For you to get a promising job and you don't have stable job, there is a war fighting you. Number three, failure when you should be remembered. You say what? When people are supposed to remember you, failure will just surface. I begin to look at yourself. What is happening to me again? The war of again. I pray the heaven will paralyze it in your life in the name of Jesus. War that about good things. When good things want to come, that war will swap it to people. And they say, this one is better than you. Here it is. There is no one that is fashioned better than you by God. You are the best in your generation. You are the best in your family. You are the best in your environment. Somebody watching right now. Your job has been doing well. Very good job. But now you retire to your house. Nothing is working again. But the Lord is saying, I will refuse it you. And I will destroy that secret that is used to fight you in the name of Jesus. Can your hammer be louder? There is a war that make you to release your right to your enemy. A lot of people will release their right to their enemies. And in the end, the enemy will be fighting them. Some people, their horn is to talk. Until when they are finished, they will not know the solution. But today, that word that make you to re re reveal the secret of your sources. And that they are using it against you. Every we fight that word for you in the name of Jesus. Word that is fighting your ladder of sources. A lot of people find it difficult. They don't know what is fighting the ladder of their sources. Anytime they want to climb, a problem will come. I said something. I said that... The salary you earn does not count. What counts is the one you save? A lot of people, you can hear them, they earn so much salary. By the time they are out of that job, in three months, they begin to borrow money. That is not a proper life. There is a secret fighting such people. I pray for somebody, if your amen will be louder, in seven votes. That secret fighting your finances. Heaven will expose it and disgrace it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can your amen be loud? Amen. Can your amen be loud? Amen. There are lots of people, the word that is used to fight them is the word that is transferred from one generation to another generation. When they look into that, this one is happening to my father. And I am seeing it in my life. Hear this. Periodically we need to be praying. When you discover that what happened in the life of your father, you see replaying in your life. What happened in the life of your mother, you see replaying in your life. You need to stand up and defeat that problem. Is somebody hearing this word? There is war for a season. There is war that is used to fight your career. There is war that is used to fight your ministry. There is war that is used to fight your nation. There is war in every way. But I pray today, every war set up against anyone under the Son of God through me. The heaven will paralyze that war in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your head may be louder. Amen. Say, every war fighting my life, every transfer war from generation before me that is set against my life. Say, what are you waiting for? Say, oh Lord, my father, fight that war for me. Can your hear me be louder? 
I pray today that God Almighty will fight any form of war in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes you don't need to engage in any battle. When the battle comes, God knows it's going to come. The Lord will give you strategy before the time. I hear this. Whenever the strategy is made, then victory will be delivered to you. There is war. Fighting people from their roots. This one have turned their victorious son to the song of money. But I pray today, that war fighting you from your roots we aspire in the name of Jesus Christ. I said we aspire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Genesis 33, verses 4 to 14, something happened in the life of, of Esau and Jacob. The promise of the father was until when you deliver yourself from the joke that is upon you by your brother. Your brother are able to receive your blessing. But you must do something special for you to have dominion. But by the time he will get dominion, the brother came. Number one, the brother called him my Lord. He received the dominion and received the right of the firstborn in that place. Number two, he refused to receive the gifts from his brother. Until when the brother begged him so seriously. That was the time he received it. Hear this, beloved. It was food that useless his life. And he said, what is my bad right with me? I hear this because he have said that then something was swapped. Don't forget, Jacob had been fighting him to take the first lead from the womb. They started their league. They started their battle from the womb. I hear this. He prevailed. After the mother request, and the mother said, Lord, there is a problem. Something is in my womb. But the prophet of the Lord said, two nations are in your womb. One shall be greater than another. And the eldest one will serve the younger. I pray. Power that is making your elder to serve the youngest. And you have not seen any reason to eat out now. I pray the secret will be revealed to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God will place you to where you belong in the name of Jesus. How that thing happened in that place? He said, Now, my brother, you are going to leave. Genesis 33, verse 12. Say, Where he so said, Let me be going. I will lead the way. He took back his right for the first time. It has been the younger brother that has been leading him for many years. But he was able to take the lead. What made him to lead the way this side? Because he refused to take the food. He refused to do what? To take the gifts. The brother have to beg him seriously. Oh, my brother. I am very sorry for what I have done to you. Please, I am sorry. Please take this gift from me. Bible say that gifts blind the eyes of the wise people. There are gifts you have received that block your womb. There are gifts you have received that take away potency from you. There are gifts you have received that block everything that's supposed to happen in your life. But if God has sent me under this world, that every gift you have received that is fighting you, the Lord will take it out of you and deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Exodus chapter 23 verse 8. Exodus 23 verse 8 says. And thou shalt take no gift. But the gift blinded wise. And perverted the word of the righteous. Gift blinded eyes of the wise man. Some people will come. Do you know the food you have eaten. That blocks some measure of life. The brother gives to you gifts of food, and you don't know the source. All you do is to consume it. Wah, wah. Somebody will just come. I bought this meat pie for you, and you cannot even pray on it. You are now rushing to eat just to eat. Somebody will just come. I cook this food from my house, and you eat the food that you don't know the source. I pray for somebody here. Every food you have eaten, 
They purge away the potency of God in you. And replace it with affliction of Satan. I pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord will put that food out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear this. Esau might have been a fool as he was growing up in life. He was a fool. By selling his birthright. And I may also say that might not be his fault. Because it could be the fault, the fault of the parents. When you look at that story, you will discover that the house was divided. The father was for the firstborn. The mother was the secondborn. And they are twins. The parents share the children within them. Let me say this and serve this warning. Even if you love one child and another person, you have to be very careful. You may love that child because that child is brilliant. You may love that child because that child is hardworking. You may even love that child because of the domestic work. But you have to be careful. It means that in that family they share pot as well. Abraham, we need to understand. He started his life very well. But when it comes to the time of, his, of, of, of some things, a lot of things changes in the life. A lot of things changes. But I pray today. I don't know the family you came from. The order that is not working right in your family. My heavenly father will make it work in the name of Jesus Christ. The father said. Before I die. Isaac. Before I die. Do you know what you're going to do? Say. Go and give me food. Why can't he call the wife? My wife, I want to bless you. Come, you and your two children. They don't have more than two. But hear this. The father has to call the one that he loved. And the mother was there to listen. This must have warning note to every man. And the mother said, I've heard when your father tell your brother, oh yeah, go and kill one animal and you the skin to cover yourself because he was a skin, he was a skin man. And the father said, the father could notice that. But you know, there is a way that women use wisdom, domestic wisdom. He used, she uses the domestic wisdom to warn over that man. And the son said, mom, what of it my father heard that this is not me? He will curse me. The mother said, no way. I know what to do. Paraventure, the mother might have done one or two things. For the brain of that man not to even think that way. And the man said, either is Esau my son, or not Esau my son. The only thing I want to do, I will hit it and I will bless you. By the time the younger brother, the elder brother returned back, you know what happened? Say, Father, bless me. Even if it remains only one blessing. The father said, I have one blessing. Number one blessing is, I have made him to be your Lord. You will serve him. Oh, you will also be a nation, but you must dwell under your brother. That was a secret. That was used to fight the head of brother. But I pray for somebody today. For the fact you are twins does not mean that you are going to become great as your twin brother or your twin sister. But what will make you to be great is the blessing of the Lord that come over you. The word of the Lord says, the blessing of the Lord make it riches and added no sorrow. I pray today, insult heads food. First time, second time, my birth right, second time, the food. And hear this, he could not be discovered himself. He could not discover himself. And he could not recover from it. Until when he followed the instruction of the father. The father said to him. Until when you take dominion by yourself. Then you will be delivered from the hold of your brother. I pray for somebody today. Every hold holding you down. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. There must be chance. For recovery. Do you believe that? In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. 
David inquired from the Lord and he said, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered, Pursue, you will surely overtake. But without delay, you will overcome, you will recover home. Hear this, beloved. Many people might have been searching for the secret of David. They might not know the secret of David is a stand with God. Not his strength. Not about his power. Not about his, 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 his riches. But about the secret place. No wonder there was a scripture that was recorded to him. That he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosa. Shall I buy what? Under the shadow of the Almighty. It was under the shadow of the Almighty. And something great happened in this life. Paraventure you fall into the category. That you say. Your birthright has been removed from you. With your seven running amen. Let God deliver it back for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 says, Blotting out the hard writing of hardness that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing need to the cross. Every gift you have received suddenly, that stop your motion and convert it to stand still. That did not allow you to get the benefits of God. I want you to say amen to this. I pray in the name of Jesus God will take it out of your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. So every man, there is a secret you must know about your next level. For the time immemorial, secrets have become the major tool that is used to perform great tasks. Every man in a secret place, they achieve more. Secret place, people use it to destroy. They use it to promote. They use it to elevate. They use it to downgrade. The outcome of secret art is the display of the success you see in the lives of people. Any man that can pray in the secret place will get the best of God. Conception comes from the secret place. You believe that? For a man and a woman to meet, they must hide in the secret place. No matter how they love their children, their children must not see them in that secret place. By the time the children come into their womb, the child also grows secretly. The mother will never tell how the feet of that child is grown, how the head of that child is formed, how the nose of that child is formed, how the head of that child is formed, how the, the fingers of that child is formed. But hear this. They are all formed in the secret place. This is the reason. Anyone that does not know how you are formed cannot have right to establish right over you. So I pray for somebody today in the name of Jesus. Every right that is being established over you, the heaven will conclude it and take it away in the name of Jesus Christ. Can your amen be louder? What is used to fight a lot of people is powered by secret conversation which must not be known except people that are in that place. Lots of people will wake up and they discover they are running mad. There is something attached to it at night. Hear this. When men slept, the percentage or the ratio of people that wake up and begin to see what they didn't see yesterday before they sleep, they are more than people that something just happened. It's happened right from the sleep. So we will just say, when we just slept, I discovered my child just cried from the dream. I was reading a book. A particular cat beat a lady. Cat, black cat. As soon as that cat bites that lady, from that place, that side of the ham started getting rotten. They have taken this woman to a different hospital, but to no avail. But here it is. 
They took the woman to a particular herbalist. It was the son of that man that now a pastor that was testifying and was using that as a testimony. Saying, by the time they brought the woman to my father, the wound has started being healed through herbs. But night, a particular personality came to my father. Now that, that work you are doing, don't do it again. If you continue doing it, we will use your own lesson as a ransom for this deliverance of this person. I hear this. The father has to tell them the second day, come and take your sister home. And she died. Because they told the father, this is our meat. That sister was still living. But she's now a meat to witches and wizards. Let me share this. A particular sister, she might be watching right now, that we are privileged to minister to in their hometown many years ago for family liberation. They used to bed wet at age 32. It's a big lady right now in Abuja. By the time we get to their home, the father was sleeping on, on, the, on the mother, the father mother burial ground, covering himself with white cloth when we are praying. It was like two war. I've shared this before. But here it is. The second day of the prayer, the father could not stand again. The father said, I want to join you people for prayer. In the evening of that time, the father brought what is called thunderbolt. How many of us know thunderbolt? And brought some craft work for twins. And said, pastors, please help me destroy this thing. After we destroy it, that was the time the, when we are praying in the night, the daughter rushed out of that prayer room and came out with follower, closing her eyes and was urinating. She urinated. When you look at it, it's like the open tap. That was the end of that thing and the life of that sister. The secret that was used to fight that sister was the thunderbolt. And number two, the twin crafts that was used for twins. Until when God delivered her, a lot of things happening in her life. She said to me, say, Pastor, I spent 30 years in university because I was involved in an accident. When they take me to this place, what Abali said, they used to come and take my leg, they used to come and take a leg at night. By the time they take it, in the morning they will return the leg. The case will return back to the way it was. They do that every seven, seven days. Until when God himself delivered her sister. She was brilliant. And they knew that she's going to be the person that they are going to use for that brilliancy. And they caught a leg. She attended three universities. Before she can succeed. I pray for you. I don't know that you're all that they use in fighting you. But I declare in the name of Jesus. That secret code. That is used in fighting you. Ever we prevail by it in the name of Jesus Christ. Can your amen be loud? Some people are not doing well in life. Because of the money gained through fraudulent art that was used to train them. If your parents are into fraud. It might be difficult for that child to succeed. You grow up in the family of a frontless man. It will be very, very difficult. Go and check. All these frontless people, their children always fight battle in the head. No matter how many years that their father spent on this planet's head, he might use that money to train them. But those children will suffer for it. Some of them, it might be on their convocation day. I remember in UST, University of Technology in Potako River State, there was a boy during the convocation. As he was putting off his gun, some guys put him at the center and they butcher him. They remove his what? His neck in their midst on the day of his celebration. When you look into that, 
He might be linked to the error of his parents. Many years ago, and I know they will not kill him just like that. He must be a courtist. And was unable to pay their dues. Or from other courts. And they are saying, they will wait until the day of his celebration to kill him. And they kill him. In the house, the sound of celebration will suddenly turn to the sound of money. I pray today in the name of Jesus. Every sound of celebration that is turning to the sound of money in your family. I pray in the name of Jesus. Celebration will prevail in Jesus' name. Can your amen be loud? A lot of people find it difficult to enter into their scene of freedom. Because they have not been able to know the secret behind what they are passing through. There is always a secret behind what is fighting. Until when you cry to God and say unto you, O Lord, though I lift up my voice, I trust in you. Don't let me be ashamed. Do not allow my enemy to triumph over me. There is a secret behind your business that is not doing fine. There is a secret behind the infirmity in your body. There is a secret behind that unhappiness in your marriage. There is a secret behind that particular dream you always dream in that is bringing sorrow into your life. There is a secret behind your walking out without reward. There is a secret behind the latest thing and the lateness in your everything you do. There is a secret behind the life of forgetfulness you are living. There is a secret behind that your business that suddenly collapsed. There is a secret fighting each time you go for interview and you will never get that job. There is a secret. There is a secret behind that emotion in your office. Even after you are putting your best. There are some people when you put in best in the office to tell you time killing is to tell you to withdraw. There is a secret behind regular disappointment. Rejection of proposal will any man come to ask your hand in marriage? There's a secret behind the abnormal growth in your body system. Abnormal growth in your life. But I pray today. Every secret fighting you. Can you place your right hand on your head? Say, I pray in the name of Jesus. That every secret fighting me. What are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. Say paralyze. Shout out to him. Eh? Hear this. Your parents might not tell you some secret. Because they know that they are the problem behind your issue. The mother of Esau advise Jacob to run away. Go to a far country. Your brother might kill you. And if your father asks you, I will tell your father that I send you a message. He was there for so many years. He could not even see the death of his father. But I believe the blessing returned back to Esau when he buried the father. I pray for somebody. That it is secret that your parents are supposed to reveal to you. That it is secret will be revealed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. On Monday, a woman came. She was passing through a lot of issues in her marriage. It was a serious secret. And I said to her, Madam, I will not pray for you. I was not led to pray for her. But one thing I will do for you, I will advise you. And to the glory of God, I advise her on what to do. I said, because you are not doing this, you are not doing this, this is the reason you are not getting this. When you get to the house, start doing this. And I said, I will give you that assignment tonight. I asked her the church she's going, she's going to attend Celestia Church. 
everything about her that she was telling me was they said prophet said they said prophet said and I said to her I said I will train you in the order of the Bible not in the order of prophecy when you depend so much on prophet you will not get your profit because of what your prophet is in the word of the Lord that you know. Is somebody hearing me? They will tell you, carry this thing to water side. That is the heart of the white garment prophet. Use this to rally this thing to perfume your body. That is what they know. But I say, I will train you. To the glory of God, on Tuesday night, she came for the priest in uh, uh, the independent praise. And say, sir, in the morning, I cook food for my husband. My husband ate my food. I say, and so what again? Say, sir, why the person that used to take my child to school was taking my child to school, my husband followed. And my husband went, and my husband delayed. When my husband returned, I asked him, why do you delay? He said, I went to just right to go and get your cream. This thing that has never happened for a long time. After the husband dropped the cream, the husband also went, rushed out again to go and bought another thing to please the wife. And I asked the woman, did I pray for you? The woman said, no, you didn't pray for me. And I said, I will not pray for you today again. I said, do I prophesy? Did I prophesy to you? The woman said, sir, you didn't prophesy. I said, what did I do? Say, sir, you only instruct me. And I opened Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 to her. I said, the wisdom I do for you is found in this scripture. And I opened some other four scriptures to her. I said, I will train you scripturally. I will not train you prophetically. You are coming from a place where you listen to prophets all day long. But you are void of the word. I say, I will not train you by what you know. I will train you by what you don't know. Oh my God. The secret you need that will reveal what you need to know to you. I prophesy. Let God reveal that secret to you in the name of Jesus Christ. For you to get the best of God, you have to know the secret you need to know to have peace to the face of God. Is somebody hearing me? There is a secret behind your bed that you might not have access to. Somebody delivered and threw the placenta into those beings. And when one of my daughters and the Lord that we go and bite for that child came there. They were not talking. They were talking and said, Oh, that does be that placenta. Where the wife was asking the husband, Where do you throw it? I throw it inside where? Does be. And they want to go and look for placenta after three days. That secret might be fighting that child unknown. I've shared this before. A particular sister that came to one of the healing hours as this. And the Lord asked me to ask her during uh, uh, what's that? During the time of, uh, of the counseling that where is your mother? And the mother lived far away. And I asked her, please can you please call your mother to see me? The mother have to travel and come. And I asked the mother, where is the placenta? And the mother said, the placenta, we forgot it in the hospital. And I said, that is the issue fighting your daughter. I pray for somebody. The issue at birth that is fighting your life or no to you, God will reveal it and set it for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can your amen be louder? There is a secret behind your placenta manipulation. The first water that is used to bathe for you. Where your oblique cord is, is being kept. Many years ago, 
I tried to reach out to some people in some parts of our country, Nigeria, where I came from. They used to keep the oblique corn under a particular palm tree. They would dig something and bury it under palm tree. Why must it be under palm tree? That is where the deity that the worship requires that they should be bearing in the oblique accord. And the secret behind it is not known to anybody. But hear this. Your all might have been buried that way. It means that there is a demon in charge of that information. Anyone that buried it in that place, they will go there, they will remove it, and they begin to use it against them. A particular sister that God used me to pray for the family many years ago. And I had that sister. Sister, can you do me a favor? Ask your mother, what happened the day of your delivery? And thank God, the mother was holy enough to tell her and to reveal to her. The mother said, I took long time before I could conceive you. And somebody, my mother said I should go to a particular herbalist. And I went there. The herbalist said, you are pregnant already. It was not through the herbalist she got pregnant. She was pregnant, but she didn't know. The herbalist said, you are pregnant. But the only thing you will do for me, I will marry that your daughter. Somebody listen to me. And to solidify the covenant of marriage. The Habali said to the mother, immediately you deliver the child. That day you must bring that child to my shrine. And I must do concussion that you must put into the mouth of that child. I hear this. That sister had that concussion. This thing was revealed to her after a particular power started working against her. Here it is. The sister will be hearing strange noise cooking in her kitchen. They will be eating pot. In as much that her first daughter get used to that noise. And she called upon me. She's in Port Harcourt. Call upon God in me. Say, Pastor, you should call me prophet. Prophet, this is what has been happening to me all the time. Number two, every time I discover that cockroaches used to enter my private part. I've shared this before. Number three, I discovered that each time I sleep, I used to feel like there is this cold thing that I always call with my body. And she later discovered is a snake. And the information is this. You must ask your mother. Your mother know about what is wrong with you. I pray for somebody. Any secret fighting you that you don't know. And your mother refused to reveal it to you. And that is a problem fighting your life. The heaven will reveal it in the name of Jesus Christ. I said the heaven will reveal it in the name of Jesus one of my pastor friends said to me some times ago, I said, Pastor, there is a man that the woman rushed to me and said that the husband had been sleeping with that girl at age 12. Sleeping with the first daughter at age what? And the daughter rejected it at age 18. And the daughter ran out of the house. It was age 18 that the daughter got to know that for father to have sex with the daughter is abnormal. A particular lady sometimes ago came to plant air for my daughter. And around 1 December like that, I was in the house as soon as I came. I've been seeing that lady, but God didn't reveal that. And I said to her, the Lord said to me that you are not happy. There is something eating you up. And the lady said, I don't know, sir. I said, tell me when the time you stop sexual intercourse with your father. They only get back to two twins. But the father used to make love to the twin that is a lady. And the lady said, sir, this has been happening since when I was like 10 years. And I cry out 
When I was 14 years, the father has been making love to her for over four years. I pray today in the name of Jesus. Every secret that is hidden from you, let me say this. That thing can also affect the daughter of that girl. That thing can also affect the seed that that other daughter brought out. Because of what? The wrong foundation they are building on. This lady could not tell anybody. Until when God opened my eyes and I saw it. I don't know that secret that is fighting you. I pray in the name of Titus. I believe I'm saying this. There is somebody that is a victim to something that is similar to this. You are hearing this word and you are here. Or you are watching on the internet. But all I cry to tell you in the name of Jesus. That God will say to you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a secret with the first hand that carry you. Either dwelling your delivery, the one that carry you from the from a, as you are coming out of your mother's tummy, or when you were taken to the house, or the hands that carry you during your naming ceremony, or even your dedication. There are some pastors that must not pray for children. Immediately they pray for that children, they manipulate the life of that children. As soon as they are in have contact with the head of that child, their glory will be manipulated. There is a secret behind you. See yourself in the dream. Moving around your village or having your bath in your parents' house. There is a secret behind you. See yourself living in the old house you have lived many years ago. There is a secret behind you. See yourself naked. I'm moving around your village market square in your dream. You are just naked. There is a secret behind the reason why you are not dreaming at all. Some people say, I never dream in my life. A particular brother came to a house many years ago. And I said to him, I want to, I want to know your dream concerning this man. I said, sir, I never dream in my life. As I then, that brother was 32 years of age. And he was ready to marry. It was the wife that she will, he will marry to in two months to come that brought him. And I said, until you dream, I put the marriage on hold. Until you do what? I do what? I didn't say God put the marriage on hold. I said me. And I said to him, there is a manipulation fighting you that must not stand until when there is a solution to your life. And I want you to understand something today. That that secret fighting you is holding on to something in your life. But your God will fight that secret in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a secret behind you moving around in your compound and you are wrong with feces. Making you to cultivate the farm of your father. There is a secret that is making you to have sexual immorality or sexual attitude or being raped in your dream. There is something behind it. There is a secret behind why you are always forgetting things and why things, good things don't happen to you. There is always a secret behind you not having what you're supposed to have. Now, I'll be talking about the secret of slavery. We just pray one prayer to this. There's a secret thing that is making you to see yourself in a dream, still serving where you have left over 20 years. You have served in that place as house head. You are still serving in your dream under that person. There's a secret. You are under the hold in that place. There's a secret behind seeing yourself as a house head, even when you are now living comfortable. In the realm of the spirit, you are seen and house up. There's a secret behind you still dreaming of putting on your old primary school uniform. Or still see yourself in your university classroom, studying or living that hostel you have lived before. There's a secret. There's a secret behind you dreaming of serving under your old pastor. 
Even when you have left that pastor many years ago, that you are now the senior pastor of your ministry. Let me say this. In one Nogata, a particular brother came, a pastor came, and I quickly came to church, and he said, Pastor, I want to see you. This is very important. In the afternoon, and God said to him, please attend to him. He said, sir, each time I dream, what I see, 80% of what I see, I see myself serving under my pastor that I've left, now a dead man. Sir, I have dreamt that my pastor came to my ministry and removed my signboard and placed my old pastor, my old senior pastor, and removed my signboard and placed his signboard in replacement. I've dreamt that that same dead pastor said to me that if you have branches that is two million in the world, they are under my ministry. Say, sir, what will I do? I ask him a question. I say, do you have release? Does the man pray for you to release you to your ministry? He said, no, something happened that time, sir. I said, number two, I ask him, where is the location of the ministry? He said, it's in this also place. Number three, who is in charge of their ministry now? He said, is this also person, the son of that man? I said, sir, will you be able to do this thing I want to ask you to do? He said, sir, I will be pleased to do it. I said, when is their next anniversary? He said, it's coming next month. I said, the Lord said to me, you will buy chairs, six, six chairs. Six is the spiritual number of man. When you purchase this chair, when they are doing Thanksgiving in that anniversary, you put it on your head. You will not allow anybody to take it from you. A lot of people know you in that place. Say yes. Put it on your head and start dancing with that chair. Start dancing with that six chairs. Until when you take the chair to the front of the hotel and you need them for the son to pray for you. That is the only time you can have freedom. Somebody listen to this word. It was after that time. The pastor comes and says, sir, I've done it. I said, it is a settled matter. Then, people that left him start returning back to him. Because the ministry they saw was not his ministry again. People that didn't want to associate with him, they started coming to him. He didn't struggle anymore to get things done in ministry. Because of what? The secret was revealed. I pray for somebody under the Son of God through me. Every hidden secret fight in your life will be revealed and there will be solution in the name of Jesus. There is a secret behind strange personality you always seen in your room. Anytime you sleep, you don't discover there is somebody in your room. There is a secret behind the dream of seeing snake. Standing alone in the forest. Standing in the mix of the old dead people. Or walking around cemetery. That you used to have. There is a secret behind it. There is a secret behind you. Waking up. And you see marks in your body. You see it on your face. So we be in your private part. There's a secret behind strange people that are coming to warn you in your dream. There's a secret behind the blood you see. And you are forced to drink it or to eat the flesh in your dream. It's a sign of idolatry. But my God will deliver you today in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a secret behind the false illegal sexual intercourse you have. That is not fighting you. That might be used against your life. There is a secret behind the false sanitary part that you don't keep very well and that is used against you. A particular lady wanted to marry during their deliverance as I was praying for her. I said to her, 
Many years ago, you have been looking for a particular sanitary pad. And up to this present moment, that has been a question in your heart. You don't even know where that sanitary pad is kept. And I said, somebody picked it and kept it on a particular swap. How many of us were there? The pastors were there. Hallelujah. All of them were in that place. And this has been the problem. Were you there that time? When I was, doing, when I was conducting that deliverance. I pray for somebody today in the name of Jesus. Every secret part in you. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let God reveal it and give you a solution in the name of Jesus Christ. That the secret behind the first night. With a possessed spouse. No matter how legally that marriage could be, if you're married to a possessed person, there must be a problem until when God deliver you. There's a secret to what is killing children in your womb. When you conceive, the baby will die. There's a secret either in your favor or against you in that house where you are living. The environment where you are living. And there is a secret projected to that area where you are packing to. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every secret used in fighting you, God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. There is somebody here, you are always seeing yourself in unhappy mood. No matter how hard you try to be happy. There is a secret behind it. I want you to know, whenever secret is revealed to you, then there is a freedom. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18 says, And my people will dwell in a peaceable habitation, in a sword dwelling and in a quiet resting place. When freedom is released to you, when secret is revealed to you, then freedom will be released. Can you be outstanding? You will pray one prayer. The Lord, that secret that is fighting me that I don't know. Number two, that secret that I need to know that will give me that great testimony. Before I wake up tomorrow morning. Lord, reveal the secret to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that secret to the Lord. Tell God to reveal that secret to you. Anywhere you are, you are watching, you need that secret. I don't know it's watching right now. Anytime you want to get contract, there is a force. That will not allow you to get that contract. Begin to declare to the Lord. Lord, reveal the secret to me. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you stretch your hands as I stretch mine? That secret that we need. That will be revealed to us. To get the best of God. Please, I want you to say louder, amen. As you are departing from this mountain. The heaven will reveal it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. That secret that is arranged to stop you by force. Secret that is being programmed to stop your motion in life. Secret that is programmed that you must not do well, no matter how you try. I pray in the name of Jesus, if your amen can be louder. Let it ever reveal it in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Let God in ever reveal it in the name of Jesus. Let it ever reveal it in the name of Jesus. I pray today, by the order of God, that secret cane that is used to flog the people before you, and they are using that to flog you again, I command in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, let there be deliverance. As you leave this place today, in this secret that went war against your person, that went war against your personality, the heaven will reveal it to you and solution will be given to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. Secret fighting the cross crescent center. Secret fighting the work of God on this mountain. That we don't know. Let God reveal it, destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. That secret that is, think, that is taking you back to your father's house. Even when you have said, I don't want to go again. There is a secret retaining you in that place. When you need money to progress, money will not come. I pray if your amen can be louder. Oh, yeah, let that secret be revealed in the name of Jesus. 
There are secrets that did not allow you to have happy moments in your marriage. I pray, let that God reveal that secret to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name.